interestingly, we see a great deal of wheezing in both children and adults with Marfan syndrome. And it's somewhat of a complex kind of symptom in Marfan syndrome because the cause of the wheezing can be very different than wheezing in the general population. One issue is that, as I was telling you before, that some of the chest wall abnormalities that we see can cause abnormal development of the lungs. They can also cause abnormal development of the airways. And the airways are the tubes that conduct oxygen into the alveoli where oxygen goes into the blood. And so what happens is that these tubes can actually get very narrowed because of where they're positioned in the chest. And when they become narrow, they're susceptible to kind of um, what we call wheezing because there's airway obstruction. And, um, and so that's a cause of airway obstruction. That's not a classic cause that you would see in someone who doesn't have Marfan syndrome because that's a result of a restrictive process and not what we would call a reactive process or an allergic process, which is what we see kind of in most people who don't have Marfan syndrome. Um, the other issue is that, and this is something that's kind of emerging from some of the research that's going on in Marfan syndrome and in Lois Seed syndrome, is there seems to be some primary defect in the inflammatory cells that lead to an asthma or an allergic phenotype in patients with Marfan syndrome. And so it may be that those disturbances underlie a primary predisposition to develop asthma. And that's one of the areas of research that we're investigating at Hopkins.